I'm Mark. And I'm Faye. And we're the Grill Dads. Today we are gonna make lobster pot pie. This is the best New Year's Eve dinner you can ever do. Well, for you. Well, yeah, because you don't like fish faces. Correct. Starting out, butter. We're gonna sweat the onions a little bit. Get that out of oh, there. You got it, man. So how many tablespoons of butter did you put in here? We've got six plus two is eight. Nine tablespoons of butter, straight in the pot. All right, now, <laughs> This fat and onions, this is gonna be the flavor base for the whole thing. Funions. So you want to flavor this layer really heavily. Yep. Uh, so we are gonna use our white tuxedo rub, which again has a little horseradish, some sour cream, dehydrated vinegar. Chives. Chives, white pepper. I mean, we're gonna dress up these onions and that butter a little bit, man, for a night on the town. A little white tuxedo action. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the flour. Yep, what's that gonna do? It's gonna make the roux. Yep. And what exactly is a roux? Uh, a roux same, is same. equal parts fat and flour there you go. that is used to thicken a sauce. So it's so, a, the basis of a lot of soups and stews and other types of things, right? Exactly. Cool. So this roux, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add it in, we're gonna stir it around, and then for two or three minutes, we're gonna cook it. You wanna cook the raw flour taste out of it. Right. And then, um, if you want a little darker, a little nuttier, you can actually wait until it starts to turn an almond color. Uh, but Well, it's about the only time you actually want to ruin your dish. I'm out. I thought that was it. Mark? <laughs> All right, you're gonna mix this around. Again, it's gonna get real thick, real fast. We got a lot of butter, so we had eight tablespoons of butter equivalent of eight tablespoons of flour. All right, here we go. The flour is... The taste is gone for sure. Cooked out. Yep. We've got fish stock here. You can also use lobster stock. That's the sound you want to hear. Yep. And then we have a little bit of sherry we're going to add in. All right, now... My, that's my aunt's name. Aunt Sherry. No one cares. What we're going to do now is we're going to bring this up to a simmer and that's gonna activate the roux and start to thicken the sauce. And then when that's all done, we're gonna add in the rest of the ingredients. That's right. Faye. Sir. Don't stop stirring. You got it, see you later. Bye. Bye. We've got the lobster with the red tuxedo that we put on the grill. You wanna pretty much cook it all the way through, get some nice smoky flavor from the grill. Now we're gonna stir that back in. All right, we're gonna fold it back in to our roux, which is our sauce, the foundation. Pearl onions. Ooh, nice. Got some extra carrots here. Yep, yeah, put the carrots in, go ahead. All right, got a little parsley. Go ahead. A Little bit of creme fraiche. All right. Let me know when you're done. You got it, Mark. All right, we have these all loaded up, mini cast iron pans, love these guys, mm -hmm. individual servings. We are not gonna put the dough on now. Uh, we like cooking that separately. You get a lot of extra height, yeah. extra crispy, and that breaks and crumbles and you mix that in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this in the pizza oven. About 500 degrees. 500, 550. You want bubbling all the way through and you want a little bit of color and smoke on the top. We want this to look like it came out of a pizza oven. <laughs> well, it's about to. Let's do it. Put it in there. Let's do it. Woo! Yes! <laughs> Look at these beautiful puff pastry tops that we did. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go. Dainty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very small puff pastry tops. See, this is why I like baking it separate, because you I know. get these huge pieces. Well, and the presentation looks fantastic, too. Yeah, so and it's, like, but when Press you... all your friends with your giant pastry. All right, Faye, will you give me a little drizzle you of got the old EVOO? We are gonna finish with a little parsley, flaky salt. We're gonna get the smoke from the lobster that was done directly over the charcoal. Yep. We've got the wood-fired pizza oven. We cooked the tops in the pellet grill. I mean, we have got so much extra smoky flavor I was gonna say smoke on smoke on smoke, but it's gonna be great. It's not gonna be overbearing, though. Listen to this. Yes. Oh my nice gosh. Nice crust. <laughs> Oh. This is one of Mark's favorite dishes, if you can't tell. There we go, there's your puff pastry. Look at that bite. All right, Mark, hit it. Man, he loves his lobster. Tell the audience how it tastes, Mark. 
He needs a moment, you need a good cry. Okay, I'll stop talking. The lobster in the stock gives you that awesome taste from the sea, but the creaminess and the, from the roux, I mean the smokiness from the oven and the grill, I mean it's just. You know what's amazing, when you cut that, I could smell the horseradish from oh, white tuxedo. Just the littlest bit of heat from that red from tuxedo. From the red? Yeah. Which is, gives it a little bit of extra depth of flavor, but it's not spicy by any means. Well, if you guys, if the, any of the crew wants it, you better hurry up. He's gonna go through all four of these real quick, FYI.